Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Ah, <sighs> seems like only yesterday when we discussed the pathophysiology of acute and chronic pancreatitis. Remember that luau? This scene, on the other hand, seems to be what only could be described as the day after. Or, oh, holy crap. They've actually been surviving out here for months? Years, maybe? I mean, wow. That guy is... Yep, he's naked. Got another guy dressed in some kind of banana leaf outfit? Probably their leader. Well, as we'll soon illustrate... Chronic injury to the pancreas, due to long-standing pancreatitis, smoking, or obesity, can lead to pancreatic cancer. And like the prospect of these survivors ever assimilating into normal civilian life, the prognosis isn't good. Over on the crab boat to the left, we'll illustrate everything you need to know about pancreatic adenocarcinoma. That adeno prefix makes sense, because this is just a big mess of glandular tissue we're talking about here. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma is one of the most aggressive malignancies there is, so recognizing its risk factors and clinical signs is pretty important. We'll then finish up the sketch over on the island to the right, where we'll meet some very interesting tumors of neuroendocrine origin. And by that I mean, they have endocrine effects that lead to very specific symptoms that, luckily, are right there in the name. Then I don't really see any signs of life yet, so let's just stay on the boat for now. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma is more common in males, and by far the most important risk factor is smoking, which doubles your pancreatic cancer risk. So put down that cigar, you salty sea dog. The chronic inflammation of chronic pancreatitis also chronically increases the chronic risk of pancreatic cancer. Um, chronically? Did that come out right? I know. Remember that last luau sketch? While acute pancreatitis is usually caused by gallstones, the main cause of chronic pancreatitis is alcohol. So we've brought back our chronic alcoholic with those classic calcified fat necrosis spots in his shirt. The ongoing inflammation that occurs in the setting of chronic pancreatitis increases pancreatic cancer risk. Luau is over, dude. Go home. It turns out that germline mutations in the tumor suppressor genes BRCA1 and BRCA2 are the most commonly associated mutations in familial pancreatic cancer. The recurring sketchy symbol for BRCA mutations, broccoli, can be seen here in this fisherman's lunch pail, packed with a special message from his wife and kids. Duh. Remember, too, that patients with BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutations may have a family history of certain cancers, including breast and ovarian cancer. Yep. That BRCA broccoli is going to pop up throughout our gyne unit, so keep your eyes peeled. BRCA is a tumor suppressor gene, remember, so we've included our recurring symbol for tumor suppressors. The pink cancer-fighting ribbon. Aw, another little keepsake from his wife at home. Inheriting a dysfunctional copy of the BRCA gene will increase your susceptibility to cancer. There are quite a few sporadic gene mutations that can lead to cancer too. A mutation that causes upregulation or overexpression of the proto-oncogene KRAS is present in almost all pancreatic cancers. KRAS is represented here by these KRAS cancerous rats. Ew. I hope that doesn't get mixed in with the crab meat. A couple mutations in tumor suppressor genes to mention as well. Homozygous inactivating mutations in the CDKN2A gene, which is also responsible for familial atypical mole melanoma syndrome, is also found in many pancreatic cancers. If you look closely, you should see CDKN2A written out on the title of that codebook he's using to decipher a signal that he sees coming from the island. C-E-A? What the? 199? What are you trying to tell us? And the last one is SMAD4, or as it's known on the high seas, the HMS Salamander. Remember, CDKN2A and SMAD4 are tumor suppressors, so you gotta knock out both copies of the gene. All right, see those fish heads? The majority of pancreatic cancers arise from the head of the pancreas. Of all the places for pancreatic adenocarcinoma to develop, the head of the pancreas is about as favorable as they come. This is because relatively early on in its progression, the mass will start to involve the common bile duct. As depicted by Gordon here, 
as he steps on that common trunk of bilious seaweed. Biliary obstruction results in jaundice, as yellow as Gordon's fisherman jacket. Well, probably not that yellow. Icterus is often easiest to see in the sclera, at first. When bile is obstructed, bilirubin can't reach the GI tract, resulting in light or clay-colored stools. Hence the light-colored bird poop that's collected on deck. Conjugated bilirubin collects in the blood instead, heads to the kidneys, and you pee it out. This causes dark-colored urine. Gotta get rid of it somehow, 